All right, well, hold on, hold on. Turn down the copyright. I just sold the system out of this Silverado, the 210s. I know, sad. What am I thinking? Am I an idiot? I don't care, because I can build the stuff. I can build another one if I wanted to. I got my money back, sold it for $300, the box. Uh, basically, built the box for 250 so I got $50 extra. I guess that's for my time, whatever. But anyway, I'm going to turn this money into... I'm probably going to buy the uh, audio for Project Constance, like some door speakers for the back, for the B-pillars, 4x6s. I'm probably going to get the uh, used SCAR 4x6s for $29. Keep it cheap, because that truck don't need a one-off sound system. Um, I might try to find a used set of... Alpine Type S components for the doors and the tweeters if I can find a cheap set because with this 300 I'm going to try to go to Andy's you pull it maybe tomorrow if it doesn't start raining early uh, and see if I can find a pair of bucket seats in a car I'm going to look around and shop around and see if I can find a light pair uh, because I looked on his website, I think the bucket seats are $50 each. So that's a hundred bucks right there. Hopefully, if he goes off of his website, then I'll have to get some sort of some some type of seatbelt system. But basically, I'm gonna insert this clip into the rest of the video. The rest of the video might start tomorrow with me going to Andy's, and I'll film a little bit out there if I can. But uh, yeah, sold the system. I'm an idiot. I don't care. Who cares? Because to me, it don't make a difference because I built the stuff. I could build another one if I wanted to, which I'm kind of, I'm kind of retiring from the base. I mean, I like hearing it, but man, I really just don't care for it anymore. I like having a sport truck, you know, that goes fast. That type of stuff really excites me more. But anyway, that's what I'm going to get with this little bit of money. Or I may catch myself on Marketplace tonight and find something. I don't know. But tomorrow I'm planning to go to Andy's. But anyway, I need to slow the hell down. We are coming up into a town that is a speed trap. Man, what am I doing? That's a quick way to blow 300 bucks, get pulled over. But anyway, I'm going to put the phone down and get back to driving. All right, well, it's the next day. I'm headed to Andy's You Pull It, making my way to Carthage and then to Longview, Texas. So let's get there. All right, I'm out here at Andy's right now. I'm going to try to walk around, see if I can. I don't know how much I can film out here because it's a lot harder to film and focus. You know, trying to focus on cars, focus on seats. I see a cobalt right there. I wonder what those seats are like. And also the ground is real rough here, so it's kind of hard to hold my phone steady. I need one of those fancy devices, you know, the stabilization devices. Because I get focused on the video, or I mean, oh, those are shitty. I get focused on the what I'm doing more than the video so I don't really notice how I'm holding the phone oh those would have been perfect but one is missing look at that seat bro this one up here that's jacked in the air has two those seats look pretty cool right there let's see what's up with these seats oh, spider webs Looks like it's in decent shape. There's one here, and there's one here that has a good passenger seat. That passenger seat over there looks like it's got a bunch of shit in it. It might be bent. Oh yeah, that side of the car was wrecked. Easy enough bolts to get to, just right there. I don't know. Let me pull one of these out and see. This seat, 
I don't think it's bent or damaged or anything. It don't look like any of the impact messed with this seat. So let me focus and get this seat out and go from there. All right, guys, I thought I was going to use this one, but this one over here is a little worn. I put it back in the car. Oops, wrong car. This one over here I put back in the car because if you notice on the side right here, that's the metal right there. This, this whole side is wore out. So I'm over here. <sighs> try to put it back in the car and be respectful. And if there's doors on the car, try to shut them. Otherwise, the next person that come out here will get ruined seats. This one don't have a thing right here. This is a 2002 uh, Cavalier or something. GM, small GM car from 2002. But anyway, this, the bolstering is a lot better on the sides here than even down here. And it's the same exact seat. It just, for some reason, don't have this little thing right here. But anyway, I'm going to get this seat out. Look at it. Maybe the passenger side one over there is okay. I notice it has a little bit of an indention in it where that plastic's been sitting. But we're going to go over there and look at it and see if it's in good shape. I do have another car up there that has the exact same passenger seat. And people have been getting these seats out of here. But this side right here, yeah, that right there, maybe that foam will come back. But is this seat? This seat's a little loose. I don't know what's up with that, but. Oh, this is a different seat. Look at that. That's different compared to. Sorry, I turned the phone off, but like I said, that's different compared to that. So no, this seat's no bueno. Uh, let's go see the other one over there if the seat has the same track adjuster it's like just a little round rod not a flat square looking piece <sighs> what condition is this seat in well no oh you know what that may be that other seat over there don't fold all the way forward but this one probably does i'm willing to bet this one folds all the way forward push that all the way up and well no it don't i guess i have to figure that shit out but this seat is solid the foam's in good shape matches the other color the graphite color so we will get that one as the passenger this one as the driver they don't really need to fold forward anyway being in a single cab truck uh they just need to work you know and this seat, I can tell this seat is light. Good Lord, look at that. I could probably grab this thing out of here with one hand if it wasn't so awkward. But anyway, let me get this seat out. Let me get up there. Let me get that seat out so we can go ahead and get out of here and go get some Chick-fil-A. All right, well, there it is. Here's my seat hall. Passenger and driver's side. Dirty, but no rips or tears. Well, a little hole right there. No big deal driver's side seat or this is the driver's side seat bolsters are good and they're a damn sure lighter than the escalade seats i got the seat belts and stuff in there i'll try to make work but anyway shit let me get this shit out of here i am sweating my ass off i'm ready to go damn it is hot all right well that is it Got the seats loaded up back there. That's why I took the back seats and everything out of this car here. Because I can carry a lot more cargo in this thing. And drive, you know, all over Texas and get ripped off by some motherfucker that sold me the wrong type of headers. But anyway, and as you pull it here in Longview. 50 bucks a piece for those seats back there. $100 total. That's the way it goes. But... I'm going to put the phone down now so I can drive because I'm in long view and can't the motherfucker here know how to drive. I'll end up getting my ass ran over if I stay on my damn phone. 
But anyway, I'm going to try to find a Chick-fil-A. I know the one I went to last time was closed. They were remodeling. But uh, anyway, let me get off my phone, get out of the way here, and get to a Chick-fil-A. All right. Chick-fil-A acquired large Dr. Pepper, which usually is delicious throat nectar. Unless it's watered down, no good. Or the employees aren't worth the fuck. And they let the shit run out. Let's try it. Pretty close to no, uh, blah, pretty close to throat nectar. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, let's see how small the nuggets are. That's always a plus. When you pay so much for Chick Fil A, and then the nuggets are tiny. Always get a twelve count large fries. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, they're. <sighs> Compared to years ago, they're kind of small, but they're not as small as, I've, as I've seen before. I've seen some nuggets, especially in Lufkin, when I hang out with my buddy Eric. Man, they are tiny, like, goddamn, Chick-fil-A is really fucking us in the ass, charging like $10, $11 for this, and they give us some tiny-ass fucking nuggets. But anyway, let me take care of this, get back on the road, and... I really need, need to drive back home without filming, and then we'll see how well these seats fit. But anyway, um, I'll holler at y'all then. All right, well, here we are. We're back. It's later in the day. As you can tell, it's raining. Been raining all day. It's about 9 o'clock in the p.m. Still kind of lingering rain. So I won't be able to mess with this today or tomorrow. Tomorrow I got to help my uncle fix the hay beller. So this weekend I may be able to get to this. Uh, got these listed. Escalade power heated seats. Got these listed for 200 Got a little bit of interest on them. If I can get anywhere close to 200 make my money back. You know, these were 100 bucks. But I'm going to try to do this while holding a phone. Show you how heavy this seat is right here. And again, this is going to be kind of hard to do holding a phone. But... Oh, there... 76 pounds uh i've weighed this seat a few other times i've gotten as much as 77 pounds so 76 77 pounds let's take one of these seats right here and just kind of sit it on here again this is very crude measurement this is just what i got you know the finest of walmart electric scales you know, let's just take this guy that's so much easier to move around. I mean, I mean, I could, I could damn near pick the whole seat up with one hand if it wasn't so awkward. Uh, let's lay that thing down on there. Maybe that's, yeah, that's level on there. 32 pounds. 32, 32 for, uh, one time I got 33 so 32 to 33 pounds so we're looking at whatever the hell that is i gotta clean this place up but we're looking at you know 33 pounds 66 pounds 66 pounds 70 something pounds both of these are technically lighter than one of these i mean wow but i mean you know these are just base seats and I mean, I've sat in these seats. Let's see, this seat is somewhat cleaner than that seat. Or, well, they're about the same. I'll sit in this seat because it's the driver's seat. Oh, it does sink in a little bit more than that seat. But this is the driver's seat. It's worn. But, yeah, this is actually comfortable. Like, the side bolstering. I mean, it's, it's a comfy seat. I mean, it's just a Cavalier seat. Nothing special. Uh, circa 2002, so about the year of that Silverado. You know, I, you, there's some Silverado seats that have this design right here. I mean, yeah, this is pretty... I can... Let's see. Recline it back a little bit. Oh, yeah, reclining it back a little bit. Oh, yeah. That's a comfy seat. So I'm happy with these. I'm glad I picked this one than the other one because this one, the cushion is still good up here. 
It's a little more worn down here than the other one, but this is a ton better. There's still cushion right here. Like the other one was wore through and you could feel the bar. I picked the two best seats I could. They're just, they're stained, but you know, that's, that's, that's no big deal. I've got that uh, shampoo, vacuum, whatever, carpet cleaner thing. The little green thing that, you know, is a wet vac. I could probably clean these up pretty good. But sometimes, I don't know, maybe Saturday. Tomorrow's Friday. I'll be busy. Saturday, if it's a good day, I may try to fit these in the truck. And the other thing that I liked about these is this thing is sitting flat on the ground or flat on the floor because all the mounts are flat. That will be super easy to make. Uh, you know, I could weld... Ugh, I could weld a plate right here if it don't reach and drill a new hole. And the front and the back mounts are completely flat. Which, you know, the floor of a Silverado 99 through 6, it's a flat floor. You know, all four seat mount bolts, bolts and holes are flat. So this should be an easy swap. And then I got some of the seat belts right here. This little thing right here. I don't know. I have to figure something out. Drill some holes. Make this stuff work. I should have gotten seat belts out of a coupe. Because a coupe didn't have this little adjuster mechanism that's ugly. I might could just take that off. But the coupe, the coupe had that top part a lot nicer. But I wanted to get the correct, you know, the correct seat belts that actually latch in here and click in. The only thing is this one this one actually bolts to the seat. Uh, that's the driver. The passenger bolted to the floor, which I don't know why. I don't know if there's a spot over here I could bolt the passenger to. No, there isn't. So this will have to bolt, unless I can bolt it back there maybe. Bolt it to the seat mount back there and just have it come up like that. But I don't know. Or no, I mean, I would have to flip it around. Actually, that may work if I bolt it back there. I doubt I'll have very many passengers in this truck anyway. <laughs> and the old lady won't even ride in it. She has no interest. But, yeah, it's just a little kick out right there that it bolts to. And that side don't have it. So I would have to, uh, somewhere right here, uh, let's see, somewhere right there, I'd have to fashion something together, maybe flip all this around and just bolt it like straight to there or something. That would put it in the right spot. Cause I definitely, I do, even though I won't really have any passengers, I want seat belts on both sides. And luckily, one of these had an indention on the side because something was sitting on it. I think it was this one. And the indention is gone. It all, like, came back out. But really dirty. These will definitely have to be cleaned up. They definitely clash with the uh, color of the Escalade interior. But whatever. Like I said, this is a hot rod build, a true hot rod build, where you use parts from other cars. You don't go out and buy, like some brand new racing seats and have them color match you just use seats from a different vehicle and i mean these right here these are even lighter than the prius seats because the prius seats were like 37 or 38 but they the prius seats also have a airbag built in so there you go one hand oh yeah let's try that with these God damn, it came off the ground a little bit. But damn, big difference, <laughs> shit. Uh, anyway, I guess that's gonna be it for this video. The next video, I'll try to install these in the truck, see how easy it is. I'm just gonna plop them down and see how far or close the bolt holes are apart from each other. But I'm gonna go ahead and end this video because well, I don't know when I'm going to get to working on that truck. Like I said, it may be this weekend. I've had a few people message me about these seats. I uh, listed for $200. Some of, one guy offered me $130, which I'm like, eh. 
and two other people asked if they were heated and they are so and then somebody from mexico messaged me asking my for my address i said hey i'm in i meet people at walmart in my town i'm in center texas that's as close as i'm going to tell you because that's kind of sketchy you could be a cartella or something i don't know but anyway uh that's it for now i guess you guys wait for the next video how'd you like the abandoned whorehouse uh that was pretty wild actually but anyway uh i'd like to make a better video about that place but that's on private property so i gotta be careful but anyway you guys have a great day or night